Hi family, I am back and this time with some story time. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was vlogging our journey to getting baby purpose. And now that baby purpose is finally here, I'm ready to tell the story of how we got him. It was quite interesting because none of it happened the way that we had planned. And mind you, I had a whole list of things that I had planned. I had like, I think maybe 15 prayer requests on my labor story i had like yeah let me just say i had a lot of things that i had planned but god said no my girl no baby girl it's not gonna happen the way you think it's gonna happen the way i want it to happen and in the end god's will prevailed and in the end yeah we got a healthy baby So leading up to the day we got the baby, there were a lot of emotions, there were a lot of things uh, we needed to pray about um, in terms of mode of delivery or way of delivery rather, whether I was going to get induced or not, because like it was, I was getting past my due date and it was every time we went to the doctor's office, it was just a whole mix of emotions to be honest and I was doing everything and anything to get baby out um so i used to run like run for real i used to jump i used to skip rope i was hopping on the ball all the time i was um my husband actually even took me uh, for lunch once to hachekhanas i think that's how you pronounce it um just so we can go on that bumpy road as well okay that's not the reason he took me there i was actually quite uh, frustrated with him the day before and then the next day he was like no get ready we're going for lunch and i'm just like where i was not acting like i didn't want but i wanted deep down in my heart you know me most so he took me there just because he knows i was frustrated because the baby wasn't coming out mind you this was actually the day before baby came but we didn't know that so he took me there and yeah, we had lunch, we had a good time, and then we went back home. I was actually frustrated with him the day before because I felt like he wasn't doing enough to help me get the baby out because I think that day he he missed our workout session. <laughs> I know I was just being extra, but yeah. And then what else did we do? Yeah, he took me for a mommy to be treat as far. Back, so today, spending the day with the Shilongas, actually not spending the day with me, I am going for my mommy to be spa treatment from hubby. You have been wanting this for so long. But then I just figured, no, baby's about to come. Too late. For two weeks today and baby's not here. Guys, the exhaustion, the mental exhaustion is a real. So today we're gonna treat mommy and make sure she gets her two hours and a half at the solstice spa so exciting so dark in here but yeah let's see here is the spa let us go and just see i'm so excited this is the spa So I'm here in my in my room. I cry. Ready to go. Alright. I think just that week, um he was just really trying to do everything and anything he can to get me relaxed because I was ugh, I was just up to here. And then I decided to just be listening to some sermons um, for her God to help me, man, make a decision. Because the decision was actually between being induced and waiting. And I kept playing around with the date. I was even like, no, man, I think the date is even wrong. I think I can wait. I don't want to do induction because I had induction is painful. And just so many things to be honest. So today is the last appointment with the doctor. Yeah, past 40 weeks, just praying on God, really, really praying on God that uh, of all 
this appointment we've had today will have the best news considering what we are praying for right now and the lord will just see us through man like it's been a journey but it's time to meet my little one so i'm praying that we'll have good news really really just want the best outcome the least painful outcome but the best outcome and trusting that yeah trusting that also will be well so baby purpose mommy needs you daddy needs you oh Kuku is waiting for you to come so she can come me yeah so yeah we're here let's go let's hear i took off my rings last night because i'm starting to get swollen and they were hard to take off so i figured it's better that they just come off ah <sighs> really praying lord lord be with us so mommy and daddy are back from the doctors yeah it's not what i was hoping for but it answered it was an answered prayer i did pray that god gives me an answer today um whether he speaks to me through the doctor or whatever because i was conflicted between getting induced on friday and getting induced on monday the scheduled time was monday but i had this thing i didn't want an august baby i really wanted july because it's so special to my husband and i and everything but i guess baby doesn't want that and once his or her own month once own grand entrance once like you know when you guys least expect it it's like bam i'm here <laughs> But yeah, it's fine because last night I couldn't sleep at like 5, I, okay, this morning. I woke up at like 5 in the morning and I was just like, Lord, speak to me, help me, make help me make a decision. And then I was watching a sermon by Pastor Steve Furtick and I, I watched one, uh, Trusting God's Timing. I, I watched one titled something about, what is it? it patience i can't remember but i do know i did take note of some things that he said one of them was um experience is the friend of wisdom but is the enemy of um of faith yeah and what that made me think of is the fact that i'm a doctor so sorry guys i'm waiting for my husband in the car there's so much noise i'm a doctor so i have this experience and knowledge and everything like that and sometimes i tend to be thinking like a doctor like oh my gosh if I go for induction and then it fails and then like I'm looking at statistics and I'm looking at bishop score and I'm looking at all these things. But then at the same time, I'm going against faith. I'm going against the fact that God said he'll do it in his own timing and that all things work out for the good of those who trust in the Lord. I'm going against everything I know biblically. I'm going against, do not be anxious about anything, but with prayer and supplication, make your request known to God. I'm going against all the times that he said, like, lay your burdens unto me, you know. And I was like, yo, Elena, like for a moment, just stop timing it. Stop leaving it in your hands and just trust God. Trust God's timing. I like something that he said that even when it doesn't work or even when it's not working, God is working. And so I went to the doctor having peace that whatever God decides, whatever he's He's going to decide. He's going to give me peace about it. And I'm, I have peace. Peace beyond human understanding. And yeah, so baby is not here. We are 40 weeks and two days now, three days now. I can't even remember anymore. But yeah, let's give the child time to bake. <laughs> Obviously, in my head, I'm thinking, bruh, like you are already fully matured. Like, do you want extra hair? Do you want extra lashes like your father? What do you want, child? But one thing I'm grateful for is that it hasn't been a complicated pregnancy. There is no medical reason to rush this baby out. And baby is like, you know, doctor says, my husband always says, doctor is self-isolating. <laughs> Today the nurse even said like, even I would want to stay in my mommy's tummy if I knew that I have to be paying rent and taxes and all these things. So, yeah, I'm going to let my baby stay for as long as they want. That PV was how? Today was actually better than the previous time. She was even saying, like, I'm developing so much more threshold <laughs> to the pain. Um, but I think also because I went with a clear mind. Um, so, yeah, 
let's see i'm gonna go back to the doctor on saturday to the hospital actually to monitor the baby as well um she was telling me monday i'll have to be in juice why do i i won't go past monday but today she decided like okay well she'll see me again on monday and then we can discuss induction and i have a lot of peace that by monday there will be a difference i don't know difference in terms of the baby's gonna be here or difference in terms of a better decision is gonna come out of the monday's appointment but i have peace I've tried everything. I've gone for massages. I've drank castor oil. I've been eating dates. I've been eating pineapples. I've tried evening primrose oil. Guys, I went for a pre mommy to be spa. But like, really, I've done everything that they say works. I've been bouncing on the ball. I've been taking walks. I've been doing literally everything. But my child says, mommy, just hold on. Just hold on. Let me show you what God can do. So yeah, let's see what God is going to do. I'm going to keep you updated on my journey. I'm really going to post this once baby's here. So maybe the baby's actually not late. We are the ones that are too early. But it's okay. It's okay. My baby is healthy. We're going to have this baby. One way or another, we're going to have this baby. And then, the funny thing is the day we got the baby, we were just on our way to the hospital for some for some checkup like a checkup i was supposed to do a checkup every two to three days right a ctg which is a cardio tachograph i hope i always remember that yeah just to check the baby's heart rate if i have any contractions all this thing good morning my people it's another day on the journey to getting baby purpose so yeah baby's still not here we continue to wait i think yes baby is late by human timetable but not on god's watch not on god's timetable and we are fine we're okay with it i'm more at peace about it now than ever so it's fine so happy happy and i know i'm on our way to the hospital now for observation in a ctg ctg is a tachograph like yeah it's a this thing that they strap around your abdomen not jtc c it's you who was in jtc <laughs> uh to monitor the country we have any contractions and the baby's heart rate yeah basically oh my dear we wait they say leo babies like attention clearly this one's gonna be a leo baby and just wants to make a grand entrance didn't want to come in july as mommy and daddy wanted and that's totally fine i guess everybody must have their own month we have our own month anyway so yeah we wait we wait excitedly but we know baby's gonna come late based on human timetables but still on god's time god's time baby purpose is coming soon <laughs> i know why are you laughing <laughs> here we are here baby purpose coming soon we're just practicing i should be the day i come here uh, i'm in labor okay okay <laughs> remember when I walked there, the nurse saw the paper is written for admission, uh, admit for observation. She's like, oh, you came for admission? I'm like, no, I just came for observation. She was like, oh, really? And I'm like, yes. And then even when we were there, the nurse later was like, she was looking at the city and she's like, I don't think you're going home today. And I'm like, no, I'm going home. And I, I was being stubborn. Like, you know, when they say doctors are the worst patients or health professions, rather, are the worst patients. It is so true. Honestly, I was so adamant I'm going home. So my husband and I were lying there in the room, just waiting for um, the doctor to clear us. I even at some point when the CTG was printed out, it didn't look too assuring. So they put me on a drip and said I shouldn't eat anything for the next four hours or continue monitoring. I'm just like, no. But anyways, okay, I stayed there. And then I remember when I started seeing the patterns for the heart rate going better, I was like, oh, no, it's fine. Was this the machine? I called the doctor. I'm like, no, doctor, it's just the machine. The nurse also said, so, okay, she did say so. So I can go home. And then she's like, okay, Lena, um, we'll come and have a chat. And I'm like, okay. So I texted her in any hours. I was like, no, don't take out anything for dinner. Um, we'll order something. Because my husband and I, we even discovered this app called Buddy um we were ready like we we're looking for food for that day um yeah man we were just ready to go have some pizza or seafood or whatever that evening because baby was not coming that day according to our plan baby was not coming that day and i was strict about it 
when doctor came my husband telling her like no doctor i think the date is wrong and everything and she was just like okay Lena, let's observe again and let's see how the cdg is gonna look i'm like okay fine that time i'm now chatting to my cousin and two of my friends and i'm just like no i don't know why this doctor is so adamant about my baby coming out like what what, what and something in me just told me to go look at the previous picture of the ctg we had taken i think two weeks prior to that date and i compared that ctg my baby's heart rate and the current heart rate pattern and i'm like okay i think i get what she's what she means and mind you i wasn't even i was even googling stuff like our uh, sis no like it can't be right i was i even called them like no doctor can i at least eat something i think it's just because i'm hungry and what 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 and i was just there and she was like elena we put you on plasma light like it's not even about hunger at this point we thought the baby was sleeping but it's been hours now you know so and then i looked at that pattern and i'm like yeah no i think i get her and she came in and we had a chat and she she really just spoke to me and she was like it's not about the mode of delivery you know it's really more about just getting your healthy baby going home with a baby and she's right you know she was right i was like fine because at that point she's like Irina, we need to get this baby out now i'm like huh now but anyways and the funny thing was that morning early in the morning one of my friends nanny she's not all the way in europe she called me in the morning and she's like i had a dream you got a baby girl it's so weird she actually said a baby girl because throughout my whole pregnancy she was convinced i was getting a baby boy she was like i had a dream you got a baby girl so please take your bags along to the hospital and i'm like no i'm only going to the hospital the hospital for observation i'm not taking any bags she's like elena just take them they can be in the car if okay if the baby's not coming then you go back home with them if they come then and i'm just like i don't even feel any contractions i don't feel anything we're literally going there for like an hour i'm not taking any bags so when babies when doctors said we need to take this baby out now so i had to ask my husband to go get the bags and in my heart i was last laughing to myself like really but it was such an emotional moment i i was crying because the thought i wasn't prepared for a c-section i in my head i was prepared for natural birth throughout but that's not even the thing here i was more like um i had to also mentally prepare my mind for an induction and but a c-section was not in my plan it was not in my plan at all um so i had to kind of like rewind like whatever just my mind basically so i called my mom and my mom was encouraging me and she was like being all prayerful and then i spoke to monica and she said a prayer for me as well and i was just like okay lord if this is your plan is fine um i remember that when my cousin wanted to call me but i was like i had a labor playlist that i had already made right so i decided fine let me just listen to the labor playlist even if it's not happening the way i wanted it to i made this playlist for a reason so i was listening to this worship music and i i i think i just played jaira and you make me brave and um I can't remember the third song i only played three songs i didn't get to obviously go through the whole list because then my husband had gone home so when he went home to get the bags they came they were preparing me and by then i stopped crying and even when the doctor came she found me calmer and she was like no you look better i'm like yeah no i've made it i've i've made peace with it this is god's plan it's fine so then when my husband came literally we had a list of dates for boys and for girls and everything just went out the window like the shwambo name he because we called the baby purpose throughout the whole pregnancy um which was actually it's so funny that this pregnancy started with one verse um the day that i i was sure that i was pregnant we were on a trip with some friends and then i woke up i was having a lot of pain and i went to pee and then i was sitting there there was no no no, no network in the lodges like in the rooms but one of my cousins anna she posted a scripture proverbs 1921 and then i went to read it 
and it said um, many are the plans in a man's heart but the lord's purpose shall prevail so from there on we've been calling the pregnancy purpose obviously there was another reason because i think two three months before that i was doing devotion and someone and i posted pregnant with purpose and i was getting so many congratulatory messages and what then i was like yo guys i'm not pregnant just figure out speech so that's kind of how the purpose word started and then that day it was confirmed by that verse so the day the baby came out again we we're like yeah and many are the plans the man's heart but the lord's purpose shall prevail so the angle's gonna seem different because I had to go get the baby, started crying. But anyway, so my husband came back and he said, you know what? So um, my husband came back and he was like, you know, um, we were actually looking for names that would sound something towards the word purpose. But we didn't really, so we went a different route. But when my husband came back and then I told him they have to take me to theater now, Yo, he was like in a panicky mode also, but then he was like, you know what, baby, whatever gender this baby is going to be, weird that he said that knowing that he knows that he knew the gender, but he was like, whatever gender the baby comes out, the name is going to be Halolai, because Halolai Karunga and Ariwani for and we're like, true though, hey, and that's been our journey, like God's will had to prevail, God's purpose had to prevail, so yeah they rushed me to theater everything happened so fast and then yeah when i was in there all i was like i was looking for my husband and this lady was so she laughing like the lady's looking for her husband because i just felt like he was gonna keep me calm but then they were like no he only come in after they finished preparing me and then he came in and he sat next to me he held my hand but that was like way after i had like a whole complication i had high spinal um like there was a lot of complicated things that to be rushed into they had to put oxygen give some medication whatever, whatever like yeah all sorts of things but yeah so baby came and then all i wanted to see is is it a boy or a girl <laughs> and the whole time i was looking um at the like through the reflection then when i saw the head all i was waiting for was just that cough like because i just wanted to make sure my baby was fine and then i had the cough and the pediatrician took the baby and then they're like what is it what is it oh, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like yeah i was so excited and i just started crying uh, after a few minutes of being in shock i was just yeah god is good god's will prevail god's purpose prevailed and yeah it's once again it's a reminder that it doesn't matter how many plans we have in the end it's going to be god's will that will be the final one today is day three in the hospital and it's day to finally go home i'm so excited i'm more excited to see my mom so my husband is on the way to the airport to go pick up mommy dearest and yeah we're just finishing up gonna sit still sorry baby coming on gonna sit still and wait to go home so yeah, thank you for being on this journey with me. We are finally having our baby. It's so funny how we came in here just thinking, yeah, we're gonna go back home. Now we're going back with a whole human being. Okay, I think I've said that already. But yeah, of course. Let's exit. Oh, home. Yeah. Hi. We are going home with some flowers. Oh, mommy's in the car. Yes, yes, I'll sit here. Oh, mommy's here. Hope you enjoyed my story time. And remember to keep God at the center of it all. Remember that no matter what you're going through, He is gonna get you through it. It doesn't matter how you made it, how you made it look, or how you planned it. In the end, He has a perfect plan. So yeah. Till next time, guys.